Aloha and mahalo for joining me. I'm Janet and welcome to the Call to Create podcast. I am here to help you ladies unlock your creative potential and use your God-given gifts and start a business because you were called to create and you have so much to share and the world needs your creative gifts to be shared right now ladies let's do this today i wanted to say don't question your abilities i was thinking about you know when we're young we have all these things that we learn to do from when we're a kid i don't know if you want to take yourself back sometimes some people's childhoods are a little bit scary I've done a lot of crazy things. So sometimes it was scary in that way where, you know, I didn't listen to my parents. But, you know, from when you're little, you start to do things that you really like. And sometimes you have to do things you don't like. Like I know back then, chores was a big thing. Like you just had to do chores on Saturday. And a lot of my friends were like that too. They they had chores on Saturday. They couldn't go out of the house to play. So, you know, my friends had to do their chores and I had chores, but I don't remember if we had to do them on a Saturday morning. But when you have to do the same things over and over again, you get really good at it, even though you may not like it. Like, I don't know any, I haven't met any kid now or from when I was a kid who liked doing chores. But when you do something week after week for years, you get really good at it. And that's what you would describe as an ability. Like you have an ability, like if your job was to vacuum and you had to do it every single Saturday for, you know, 15 years, that created that ability that made you be able to do it well, to do it, to know how to do it and everything that's involved. So that's really not a really good example, but it's true. I'm using that example because I... I knew so many people who had to do things like that. So the ability that you have after all of that really gets you to be to come from a place of, for sure, yeah, I can do that. I know how to do that. So those are the words that you would be able to use or say, rather, like if you're having a conversation with somebody, right? When you're talking and you're like, oh, yeah, I can do that. I've done that forever which is kind of the language I use and the language I've heard other people use and conversations I've had. So when it comes to things that you have to do now, like as an adult, you have abilities that you've already learned from when you were a kid. But when it comes to being an adult, there's a funny thing that happens. It's like we question and not in a good way, we question our abilities. And so I want to talk about that just for a minute here is like, don't question your abilities because once you know how to do something, it doesn't automatically just go away. You know, you don't forget how to do something. Just like riding a bike is another good example that just came to me. Because if you ever learn how to ride a bike as a kid and you do it, you know, you maybe you had your own bicycle but then maybe as an adult you haven't ridden a bike for 20 30 years you still have that ability there's something that happens in your brain and your body that you automatically know how to do it again so you get back on a bicycle and you know how to balance it's not like when you're a kid and the first time you know somebody took the training wheels off your bike Right? You didn't know and you fell off and you didn't know how to do the balancing thing and pedal and steer at the same time. But it's very different when you become an adult and you actually know how to do that because you've done it before. You know, that's an ability that you have. You have that in you to get on that bicycle again and to ride without falling off. Well, I hope anyway. Most times that's what I've seen. I've seen and had conversations with people about riding a bike. It's And that's used as like an analogy too. When you learn something, it's like riding a bike. You don't forget how. You just know how to do it, even though you haven't done it for a super long time. So don't question the abilities that you have. If you have to do something hard or something new, 
what tends to happen is that you start to question whether you can do it or not. And what happens when you start to question is that you're allowing the doubt and the fear to take over. And I talked a little bit about fear last week because fear can stop you in your tracks and it can paralyze you and it can do all kinds of crazy things. So if you're strong enough, you just acknowledge the fear that it's there and you just tell it to move aside. Okay. Hopefully one day it'll be that easy to just tell it to move aside. Fear, get out of my way. But when you start to question the abilities that you have, you know, that fear and the doubt just like takes over. And, and then what happens is you start to think that, oh, you're not capable anymore. Like just questioning it all the time. And then when that fear and doubt is still there, like it just paralyzes you. So you don't move forward and take that first step or you don't get the um, experience of what could happen if you just use your abilities for good and to help you in new things okay because once you you have the skills already and use your skills and don't question your skills which is your ability your ability to do things are the skills that you have you've developed them and so use them and don't question and we want to be able to have a fulfilling life and we want to be able to have our own version of success i know i do i want to be able to be at the end of my life just happy with what i've done while i'm with my family and not have regret re regrets why is that hard to say regrets and you know like i mentioned before you know there were two people who i witnessed personally at their bedside talking about the regrets that they have and the things they wish they've done and you know you hear people talking about that all the time and I've had that experience just recently a couple of years ago and it's really it makes you step back and think because we come from a different perspective when we're looking at somebody you know you don't know what their personal lives are like whether they have certain fears or doubts or whether they, did, they didn't fulfill their own dreams or anything like that but it always tends to come out when people are dying unfortunately these people were dying um, of cancer which is really horrific but all of those things come out all the regrets and and all the things that they wish they would have done or you know they would have taken the time to have fun and just do things instead of just forget about what matters to them. So take this time today to think about your abilities and the skills that you were able to cultivate all these years and use them for good. If you have a new opportunity coming up, use your skills, use the abilities that you have to take you into new amazing possibilities because I want to be here to help you design and create a life and even a business that works best for you. And you know that it's something that you wake up so excited for every morning. We need our life to have happiness and we need, we need to be able to have things that we love doing. Sometimes we forget about doing fun things or fulfilling our dreams and and not working towards our goals. So I'm here to help you because I want you to seriously think about if you don't already have like a part-time creative business, you know, I'm encouraging you to start one because it's amazing when you use your gifts and put it out into the world and to share what you have. It just makes you come alive and I've seen it over and over again. And it's the same thing for me when I had my own sewing business for years when I was teaching sewing and sewing for people. It just is an amazing feeling that I can use the gifts and skills that I have to bless the lives of other people. So think about that. Think about your skills and your abilities and don't question them. Just let that go. Push that fear aside. Push that doubt out too. And if you have anything you want to share with me, send me a direct message. 
And please share this podcast with anyone who you know would get great value out of listening to it. Or if you know anyone that wants to start a creative business, please send this podcast their way. I would really appreciate that. And I want to ask you a favor. If you can please take a minute to rate and review this podcast. And if you're listening to this podcast in the Apple Podcast app, you can rate and review this show right there at the bottom. So as soon as you open my show, you can just scroll down all the way to the bottom and you can rate and review it right there because reviews are so important and they tell potential listeners and Apple that this show is worth listening to. And I would really appreciate that. Thank you so much. And have a great day, ladies. Take care of yourself. Aloha.